Sinstech is an Australasian um, designer and manufacturer of uh, clean tech technology for solar thermal and solar PV controllers. Well, we're actually quite traditionally a, um, a software hardware electronics company and um, our prototypes are basically done on PCB board level because uh, we develop control technology and algorithms. However, we do package our electronics and that's actually the area where we've just moved into trying to have a look at different ways of presenting our, our products and our PCB board designs into mouldings and so forth. Well, I think one, one of the interesting things that we have experienced is we probably weren't as creative in, in our designing um, because we, we tended to keep with the same mouldings and uh, having the, the new UPS printer allows us to be more creative and entrepreneurial, allows us to conceptualise a little bit more, then do some prototypes, run out to the market, see what the market feels without huge expenditure. With regard to research, buying a, a 3D pen printer, um, I'm not a specialist in, in 3D printing, uh, I have been aware of that technology for, for a long time and have looked over the years at that wonderful technology getting cheaper and cheaper. Um, we used, of course, external bureaus in the past and so forth, and uh, it came to a, a time in which I saw the um, UPS printer being uh, displayed in MX, and uh, that's where my heart was taken, uh, and, and, and it certainly impressed me, and I had a particular project at that time, and uh, yep, uh, I went to buy that, knowing very little about how the machine worked, and about the, the complexities of the machine or the simplicity of the machine. So yeah, we, I've used in the past SLA and SLS um, prototyping uh, forms and they have been useful. Uh, I have to probably put this into context. The SLA is, is a very good product and, and we still use SLA when we want certain tolerances or certain fits and bits and pieces. Um, however, We've been absolutely blown away and impressed with regard to the tolerance and the surface finish that you can get from this 3D UPS. Uh, when we purchased the 3D UP, um, again, it was new for us, so we had what we would call a perceived expectation, and uh, I'm really pleased to say that this thing has exceeded it beyond our understanding. We just could not believe how, A, simple it was to use, and B, how robust it is, and the, um, the accuracy is, is far greater than what we imagined. Yeah, the biggest advantage that um, we see is our ability to be flexible. We can go out and talk to a customer now. We can get an idea from a customer. We can have internal creative sessions now, wondering how would that look? What can we do here? Um, we do even mouldings now, where we will fiddle and, and have creative sessions to see if we can get certain things moulded and we'll use the 3D UPS as, a, you know, as the, the base platform for the moulding. Oh, here's a typical example of a controller casing where we've, um, we've uh, had to, to dice up our PCB boards to, to fit it in a very small footprint and we then printed off uh, a, a sample to see how it looked and uh, got so excited about it that we made, made actually five of them and sent them off to the customer and they're actually being used out there in the field. So that, that the str they're very strong and, and robust and uh, we enjoy just the finish of them. Very, very good finish. So 3, 3D Ups allows us to uh, come up with a conceptual design. You can go and visit a customer and uh, come back and say, yeah, we understand what we think we understand what he's looking at. Let's put that into a 3D um, uh, uh, model and then we can print it out now uh, on our machine and within a day you can get, be back to the customer to, to share with you the concept of those, the, the meeting that you had. So uh, 3D UPS allows us to, to really, I think, increase our workflow through the development phase and, and also for production as well. Um, we can we can be more creative, as I said before. We can actually conceptualize, we can hold it in our hands, we can see fits. Um, you can do a lot of that on 3D modeling on the computer, but there's nothing like the real thing at the end of the day. And uh, it allows us to speed, bring to market basically our product faster 
and, uh, and be assured that the customer is actually not going to be disappointed at the end of the day because they've seen conceptually what this thing looks like much earlier in the development stage and we're finishing it off further down the stage. Um, in, in terms of are we impressed, we're probably beyond our understanding, remembering that we have an expectation when we purchase the machine that we would sort of get uh, a certain amount of um, good out of the, out of the, the, the machine and it, it just basically passed all our expectation. It is an incredibly robust machine. I mean, we have learnt on that machine and it's producing fantastic parts. It is so simple to use. Uh, the finishing of those parts are, are, are to a level that we are very excited about and we do very little finishing. But for an example, we made uh, this, this section here. It's actually made in four pieces. So there's a, a join here and a join there. And uh, we, would, um, we would glue that and then we would sand just carefully those, those bits down there to get away the glue area and that would be um, absolutely all we would have to do. Yep. So um, what one of the, the great things in the accuracy about the 3D ups is that you can actually have a larger part and make it into a number of sections and then you can glue them together. This is an example. Uh, this is made in four sections. Even two of them are glued. Um, we also have a, a front casing where again you can see it's been made in four sections. This was the first one that we made. So, so the cost of this piece here uh, going to an external bureau was actually the cost of the machine. So everything that we've printed from the machine thereafter is basically free from our perspective. Well here at Synstec I'm mainly um, responsible sort of for doing the more practical bits and pieces, um, you know, getting, getting test, test rigs and stuff done and um, also a lot of the design, the physical design work. Um, as a designer, it gives me that, just that extra dimension um, that's sometimes needed, uh, especially with um, if you design in-house equipment, in-house test rigs, um, it is really, really useful um, because you don't have to get stuff made outside um, and you can, you can really um, design things to the need that you want. Over here we've got a little example of exactly what I've talked about um, in saying that you know, we, it, it's quite useful for um, test rigs um, and specific, something specific we want. Um, in this case we needed um, a way of programming um, a specific PC, uh, PCB and we didn't have any connectors, we were quite spa space constrained with that. So we designed, it was easy to design it on the 3D, up 3D printer um, because we could have exactly the places where we wanted the test, the pins and things to, connectors to be so we can actually program that. It was really, really easy to line up. Um, I did try that other ways by drilling the holes but it was just not possible to have it that accurate um, in the right places um, because of tolerances issues. But it's been, it's been, really interesting. It was a lot more accurate than, than initially thought.